Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yatam Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrachatam Sagana Raghunatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Bitam Sya Om Ajnana Timaranda Shagyanajana Shalakya Chakshuru Militam Yena Tazva Shi Gurave Nama Gurva Bishtam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shi Rupa Patanagam Govinda Bidam Ujvalam Bharatanam Bhaktian Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwa Gurunsha Deviat Bhagavad Prem Nawe Bijapranam Devam Divyatanum Suchandavaranam Balarka Shailanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sadekabaranam Vairagya Vidyambudim Sri Siddhanta Nedim Subhakti Lasitam Sarasatanam Baram Banditam Shivaram Mareka Sharanam Nyashi Sharashi Dharam Banshakopata Rubya Syakripa Siddhu Vyavisha Patita nam pavene bil vaishnabe bil namo nama namo mahabaranyaya krishna prema pradayate krishnaya krishna chaitanya namane varata vise nama So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is chapter 9 of the Madhya Leela, Lord Chaitanya's travels to the holy places. So Mahaprabhu's travels in South India. start with uh, verse number 108 Emata bhatta grihe rohe gorachandra nirantara bhatta sange krishna katananda Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu remained at the house of Venkatabhata and constantly talked with him about Lord Krishna. In this way, he was very happy. Sri Vaishnava Bhanta Sebe, Lakmi Narayan, Tarabhakti Deki Prabhur, Tushtahoilaman, being a Vaishnava in the Ramanuja Sampradaya, Venkatabhata worshipped the deities of Lakshmi and Narayan. Worship Lakshmi Narayan. Seeing his pure devotion, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very satisfied. Nirantara Tara Sange Hoila Sakya Bhav Hasya Parihase Duhe Sakya Raswabhav. Constantly associating with each other. Let's see. Constantly associating with each other, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Venkatabhata gradually developed a friendly relationship. Indeed, sometimes they laughed and joked together. I'm going to repeat a couple of these verses because I had the mic in the wrong setting. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu remained at the house of Venkatabhata and constantly talked with him about Lord Krishna. I believe this is in, in the Ranganath, in the... Ranganath Temple. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu remained at the house of Venkatabhata and constantly talked with him about Lord Krishna. In this way, he was very happy. Being a Vaishnava in the Ramanuja Sampradaya, Venkatabhata worshipped the deities of, La of Lakshmi and Narayan. Seeing his pure devotion, 
Mahaprabhu was very satisfied, constantly associated with each other. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Venkatabhata gradually developed a friendly relationship. Indeed, sometimes they laughed and joked together. Nirantara Tara Sange Hoyla Sakya Bab Hasya Parihase Duhe Sakya Raswa Bab. So it refers to Sakya Bab that they're relating with each other as friends. Prabhu Kohe Bhatta Tomar Lakme Takurani Kanta Bhaka Stita Pati Brata Shiromani <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told the Bhattacharya, Your worship of old goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, always remains on the chest of Narayan, and she is certainly the most chaste w woman in the creation. Amara Thakur Krishna Gopa Gosh Gocharak Sadvi Hayakene Chahe Tahara Sangama. However, my Lord is Lord Sri Krishna, a cowherd boy, who is engaged in tending cows. Why is it that Lakshmi, being such a chaste wife, wants to associate with my Lord? Elagi Sukab Boga Chadi Chirakal. Brata niyama kori tapa kori la u apar. Just to associate with Krishna, Lakshmi abandoned all transcendental happiness in Vaikuntha and for a long time accepted vows and regulated principles and performed unlimited austerities. Kashanu bhava, Kashanu bhava sha na deva vidmahe tavangri me renu. Sparashadi Kara Yadvanshaya Shir Lalana Charatapa Vihaya Kaman Suchiram Drita Vrata Kashanu Bhavo Shana Deva Vidmahe Tabangri Renu Sparashadi Karaha Yadvanshaya Shir Lalana Charatapo Vikaya Kaman Suchiram Drita Vrata. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then said, O oh Lord, we do not know how this how the serpent Kali attained such an opportunity to be touched by the dust of your lotus feet. Even the goddess of fortune for this end performed austerities for centuries, giving up all other desires and observing austere vows. Indeed, we do not know how the serpent Kaliya got such an opportunity. This verse from Srimad Bhagavatam was spoken by the wives of the Kaliya serpent. So the, the wives of the Kaliya serpent are, they're called the Nagapatnis. And they are saying, after after Kali, Kali had poisoned the Jamuna, then Krishna, Krishna, uh, you could say, played or fought with Kali, and Krishna and Kali had many hoods, and Krishna began dancing on the hoods of that serpent, Kali. And the wives of Kali say, they, they say, after Krishna had subdued the Kaliya serpent by dancing on his hoods. The wives of Kaliya said, O oh Lord, we do not know how <clears throat> the serpent Kaliya attained such an opportunity to be touched by the dust of your lotus feet. Even the goddess of fortune for this end performed austerities for centuries, giving up all other desires and observing austere vows. Indeed, we do not know how the serpent Kaliya got such an opportunity. So the Kaliya's wives are saying, we don't know how our husband, who is a snake, how did he get the opportunity to get the dust of your lotus feet when just to attain the dust of your lotus feet, Lakshmi performed vows of austerity for many, many years. It says for centuries. Bhata kohe krishna narayan eka iswarup krishneti adhika lila vaidagyari rup 
Venkatabhatta then said, Lord Krishna and Lord Narayan are one and the same, but the pastimes of Krishna are more relishable due to their sportive nature. So you can see that Venkatabhatta immediately becomes defensive. And he says, he said, because before Mahaprabhu said, certainly Lakshmi is, is the most chaste wife, but why did she undergo austerities to associate with my, my Lord Krishna? And then Venkatabhata becoming defensive, he says, well, there's nothing wrong with this. Krishna and, and Narayan are non-different. So she wasn't being unchaste to Narayan to, to want to be with Krishna. What is that noise upstairs? Okay. Venkatabhata then said, Lord Krishna and Lord Narayan are one and the same, but the pastimes of Krishna are more relishable due to their sportive nature. Taras nahi jai pati brata dharma kotuke latmi jahin krishnera sangama. Since Krishna and Narayan are the same personality, Lakshmi's association with Krishna does not break her vow of chastity. Rather, it was in great fun that the goddess of fortune wanted to associate with Lord Krishna. This is the answer to Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's question, and from this we can understand that Venkatabhata knew the truth. He told Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that Narayan is a form of Krishna associated with transcendental opulence. Although Krishna is two-armed and Narayan four-armed, there's no difference in the person. They are one and the same. Narayan is as beautiful as Krishna, but Krishna's pastimes are more sportive. It is not that the sportive pastimes of Krishna make him different from Narayan. Lakshmi's desiring to associate with Krishna was perfectly natural. In other words, it is understandable that a chaste woman wants to associate with her husband in all his different dresses. Therefore, one should not criticize Lakshmi for wanting to associate with Krishna. Siddhantatas tvabede pi shrisha krishna svarupayo rasenod krishyate krishna rupam esha rasas ditahi Venkatabhata continued, According to transcendental realization, there is no difference between the forms of Narayan and Krishna. Yet in Krishna, there is a special transcendental attraction due to the conjugal male, and consequently, he surpasses Narayan. This is the conclusion of transcendental mellows. You were moving things around upstairs? Yeah, I was uh, um, doing a, the room for... Bhakti Lalita. Yeah. Okay. Krishna Sange Pati Vrata Dharma Nahinash Adika Lava Paye Ara Rasa Bilas the goddess of fortune considered that her vow of chastity would not be damaged by her relationship with Krishna. Rather, by associating with Krishna, she could enjoy the benefit of the rasa dance. Minodini latmir hoi krishne abilas ihate ki dosha kene koraparihas. Venkatabhata further explained. Mother Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, is also an enjoyer of transcendental bliss. Therefore, if she wanted to enjoy herself with Krishna, what fault is there? Why are you joking? Why are you joking so about this? So, as you can see, he's very defensive. And then, Prabhu Kohe Dosha Nahi Iha Amijani Rasana Paila Latmi Shastri Iha Shuni Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, I know there, that there is no fault on the part of Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, but still 
she could not enter into the rasa dance. We hear this from the revealed scriptures. So she did all these austerities, but she could not enter into the rasa dance. Nayam Shriyonga Unitanta Rate Prasadata Svaryoshitam Nalina Ganda Rucham Kutonyaha Rasotsavesha Bhuja Danda Grihita Kanta Labda Shisha Labda Shisham Ya Uragad Raja Sundarinam When Lord Sri Krishna was dancing with the gopis in the Rasa Lila, the gopis were embraced around the neck by the Lord's arms. This favor was never bestowed upon the goddess of fortune or the other consorts in the spiritual world, nor was such a thing ever imagined by the most beautiful girls in the heavenly planets, girls whose bodily luster and aroma exactly resemble the beauty and fragrance of lotus flowers and what to speak of worldly women who may be very, very beautiful according to material estimation. So the favor that was that enjoyed by the gopis, it says here in this verse, it was never bestowed upon Lakshmi or the women of the heavenly planets or, or, or the most beautiful women of, of this world. They never got the opportunity to uh, dance and be embraced by Krishna. So in that verse, it's clearly understood that Lakshmi, although she executed austerities for centuries to enter into the Rasalila with Krishna, she was unsuccessful. Lakshmi kenina paila ihara ki karan tapakore kaiche Krishna paila shrutigan But can you tell me why the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, could not enter the rasa dance. The authorities of Vedic knowledge could enter the dance and associate with Krishna. So there's this is a reference to another part of the Srimad Bhagavatam where the personified Vedas, uh, let's see, The Shrutigan. Shrutigan means the personified Vedas. They were able to enter into Krishna's Leela. So, but Lakshmi was unsuccessful, but they were successful. And what is the reason for that? I, I will not say right now. I know, because I've read this, I know what, what Mahaprabhu was talking about, but I'll explain in a few more verses. But can you tell me why the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, could not enter the Rasa dance? The authorities of Vedic knowledge could enter the dance and associate with Krishna. The Shrutigam means the personified Vedas. They could enter into the Rasa Leela and dance with Krishna. So why could they enter and not Lakshmi? That's Mahaprabhu's question. Nibhritta marun manoksha drita yoga yujo Munaya upasate tad arayopi ayusmaranat striya uragendra boga buja danda vishakta diyo vayamapite samasamadrishongri saroja shudaha. Great sages conquer the mind and senses by practicing the mystic yoga system and controlling the breath. Thus engaging in mystic yoga, they see the super soul within their hearts and ultimately enter into impersonal Brahman. But even the enemies of the Supreme Personality of God had attained that position simply by thinking of the Supreme Lord. However, the damsels of Raja, the gopis, being attracted by the beauty of Krishna, simply wanted to embrace him and his arms, which are like serpents. Thus, the gopis ultimately tasted the nectar of the lotus feet of the Lord. Similarly, the Upanishads can also taste the nectar of his lotus feet by falling in the footsteps of the gopis. So here's, here's part of the answer. Here's it. it requires some more explanation, but 
but normally in their great yogis, they can attain the impersonal Brahman. But that's not desired by devotees because even those enemies of Krishna who are killed by him, they can enter into, into Brahman. So that's, Brahman is like hell for the devotees because there's no service there and just merging with the Brahman, that's maybe okay for impersonalists, but we consider that hell. So then it says, but beyond that, beyond that kind position is the position of the gopis and they're not yogis they're not executing severe austerities but they had that that they, they had already previously surpassed that and they they are the eternal associates of the lord they're there but then it mentions similarly the upanishads can also attain the nectar of his lotus feet by following the footsteps of the gopis so that's part of the answer how the Shrutigan or the personified Vedas could enter into Krishna's pastimes because they didn't they didn't stay in their present position, but they followed in the footsteps of the gopis and therefore they were able to take birth in the families of gopis and attain the position of gopis and enter into Krishna's Leela. So there there's the part of the answer. Shruti Pai, Lakmina Pai, Ite Kikaran, Bhata Kohe, Iha Praveshite, Narimonas Man. Having been asked by Mahaprabhu why the goddess of fortune could not enter into the Rasa dance, whereas the authorities of the Vedas, which is the Shruti Gan, Whereas the authorities of the Vedic knowledge could, Venkata Bhatta replied, I cannot enter into the mysteries of this behavior. Ami Jiva Kudra Budi Sahaja Astir Ishwara Lila Koti Samudra Gambir. Venkata Bhatta then said, I am an ordinary human being. Since my intelligence <coughs> is very limited and I am easily agitated, my mind cannot enter within the deep ocean of the pastimes of the Lord. So Venkata Bhatta, he's saying, I don't know the answer. How is it that the Shruti Gan could enter, but Lakshmi could not? I cannot understand that. So only if you tell me can I understand. So to me, Sat, Sakat uh, Se Krishna Jana Nidja Karma Jare Janaha Se Jane Tomara Lila Marma. You are the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna Himself. You know the purpose of your activities, and the person whom you enlighten can also understand your pastimes. The Supreme Personality of God, Krishna, and his pastimes cannot be understood by blunt material senses. One has to purify the senses by rendering transcendental loving service unto the Lord. When the Lord is pleased and reveals himself, one can understand the transcendental form, name, qualities, and pastimes of the Lord. This is confirmed in the Kata Upanishad and Mundaku Upanishad, Yam Evaisha Vrinute Tena Labyas Tashyaisha Atma Vibrinute Tanum Swam. Anyone who is favored by the Supreme Personality of God can understand his transcendental name, qualities, form, and pastimes. Prabhu Kohe Krishna Krishna Eg. Sabhava Vilakan Samadhuryes Sarvachitta Kore Akarshan. The Lord replied, Lord Krishna has a special characteristic. He attracts everyone's heart by the mellow of his personal conjugal love. Raja Loker Babe Paye Tahara Charan Tare Ishwara Kori Nahi Jane Brajajan 
by following in the footsteps of the inhabitants of the planet known as Rajaloka or Goloka Vrindavan, one can attain the shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. However, in that planet, the inhabitants do not know that Lord Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In other words, the inhabitants of Vrindavan, they don't, they don't associate with Krishna or worship him because he's the Supreme Lord. They're not thinking of him that way. They're thinking of him out of love and affection. Kehotare putra jnane udakale bande keho sakka jnane jini chade tara khande There someone may accept him as a son and sometimes bind him to a grinding mortar like Mother Yashoda tied Krishna up when he was very naughty. Sometime, someone else may accept him as an intimate friend and attaining victory over him, playly, playfully mount his shoulders. So sometimes when he was defeated in playing, Krishna had to carry his intimate friends like Sudam or Sridam on his shoulders. So there in Vrindavan, someone may accept him as a son and sometimes bind him to a grinding mortar. Someone else may accept him as an intimate friend and attaining victory over him, playfully mount his shoulders. Brajendra Nandana Bole Tare Jane Brajajan Aishvarya Gane Nahi Kon Sambandan Manan. The inhabitants of Brajabhumi know Krishna as the son of Maharaj Nanda, the king of Brajabhumi, and they consider that they can have no relationship with the Lord in the rasa of opulence. So in Vrindavan, Krishna is not worshipped with awe and reverence and majesty. He is worshipped in one of the rasas that the, the residents have with him. It's either Sakya, Sakya Ras, or um, Vatsarya Ras, or Madhurya Ras. Prajil Lokar Babi J Koraye Bajan Se Jana Paya Braje Prajendra Nandan one who worships the Lord by following in the footsteps of the inhabitants of Brajabhumi attains him in the transcendental planet of Braja where he is known as the son of Maharaj Nanda. He's known as Brajendra Nandan. The residents of Brajabhumi, of the Loka Vrindavan, know Krishna as the son of Maharaj Nanda. They do not accept him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, as people in general do. The Lord is the Supreme Maintainer of everyone and the Chief Personality among all personalities. In Brajabhumi, Krishna is certainly the central point of love, but no one knows him there as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Rather, a person may know him as a friend, son, lover, or master. In any case, the center is Krishna. The inhabitants of Brajabhumi are related to the Lord in servitude, friendship, parental love, and conjugal love. A person engaged in devotional service may accept any one of these transcendental relationships, which are known as mellows. When such a person reaches the perfectional stage, he returns home back to Krishna in his pure spiritual identity. Nayam Sukha Sukha Pul Bhagavan Dehinam Gopika Sutaha Janinam Chatma Bhutanam Yatha Bhakti Matam Miha Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then quoted the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna, the son of Mother Yashoda, is, ex is accessible to those devotees engaged in spontaneous loving service, but he is not as easily accessible to mental speculators, to those striving for self-realization by severe austerities and penances, or to those who consider the body the same as the self. 
Shruti Gan Gopi Ganer Anugata Haya Brajeshwari Sutta Baje Gopi Baba Loya The Shruti Gan or the personified Vedas, the authorities in the Vedic literature who are known as the Shruti Gans worship Lord Krishna in the ecstasy of the gopis and followed in their footsteps. So this is the answer how they could enter. And authorities in the Vedic literature who are known as the Shruti Gan worship Lord Krishna in the ecstasy of the gopis and followed in their footsteps. The authorities in the Vedic literature who are known as the Shruti Gan desire to enter into Lord Sri Krishna's rasa dance. Therefore, they began to worship the Lord in the ecstasy of the gopis. In the beginning, however, they were unsuccessful. When they could not enter the dance simply by thinking of Krishna in the ecstasy of the gopis, they actually accepted the bodies like those of the gopis. They even took birth in Brajabhumi, just like the gopis, and consequently became engrossed in the ecstasy of the gopis' love. In this way, they were allowed to enter into the Rasa Leela dance of the Lord. Vayantare gopi deha braje jabe pailas se dehe krishna sange rasa krita koila. The personified authorities on the Vedic hymns acquired bodies, bodies like those of the gopis and thus took birth in Brajabhumi. In those bodies, they were allowed to enter into the Lord's Rasa Leela dance. Gopajate Krishna Gopi Priyasi Tahar Devi Ba Anya Stri Krishna Nakori Angikar Lord Krishna belongs to the cowherd community and the gopis are the dear most lovers of Krishna. Although the wives of the denizens of the heavenly planets are most opulent, are most opulent within the material world, <clears throat> neither they <clears throat> nor any other women in the material universe can acquire Krishna's association. Lord Krishna belongs to the cowherd community, and the gopis are the dear most lovers of Krishna, although the wives of the denizens of the heavenly planets are most opulent within the material world, neither nay, they nor any other women in the material universe can acquire Krishna's association. So even the, even the demigods' wives, they cannot enter into the rasa leela. That is, only the gopis can do enter into the rasa leela, no one else. But the Shruti Gan, the personified Vedas, they followed in the footsteps of the gopis and, and in the future were born into the families of the gopis and therefore they could enter into the Krishna's rasa leela. Latmi chahe se de dehe Krishna rasangama Gopika Anuga Hoya Na Koila Vajana. The goddess of fortune Lakshmi wanted to enjoy Krishna and at the same time retain her spiritual body in the form of Lakshmi. However, she did not follow in the footsteps of the gopis in her worship of Krishna. Anya Dehena Paye Rasa Bilas. Ateva Nayam Shloka Kohaveda Vyas. Vyasadeva, the supreme authority on Vedic literature, composed the verse beginning Nayam Sukapo Bhagavan because no one can enter into the Rasa Leela dance in any body other than that of a gopi. This verse confirms a verse of the Bhagavad Gita, Yanti Deva Vrata Devan, Pitrin Yanti Pitri Vrataha, Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja, Yanti Madhyajino Pimam. Lord Krishna said, Those who worship the demigods will take birth among the demigods. Those who worship the ancestors go to the ancestors. 
Those who worship ghosts and spirits will take birth among such beings, and those who worship me will live with me. In the material world, every conditioned soul changes its material body again and again, but when the spirit soul is purified of all material coverings, there is no longer a chance of his accepting a material body. Such a soul then remains in his original spiritual identity, a state that is possible to achieve only by understanding Krishna in truth through the practice of Krishna consciousness. As Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma karma cha me divyam evam yo veti tattvataha chaktva deham punar janma naiti mam eti sorjuna. One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities <clears throat> does not, upon leaving the body, take his birth again in this material world, but attains my eternal abode, or O Arjuna. Only when one regains one's original spiritual body can he enter into the spiritual kingdom. As far as the Rasa Lila pastimes of the Lord, are concerned, it is futile for one who is within the material world to attempt to imitate the Lord's dances. One has to attain a spiritual body like that of a gopi to enter into the pastimes of the Rasa Lila. In the Nayam Sukapu verse, the devotees are referred to as Bhaktimat, that is fully engaged in devotional service and devoid of material contamination. One cannot enter Krishna's Rasa Lila dance simply by artificially imitating it or artificially thinking oneself a Saki and dressing up like one. Krishna's Rasa Lila dance is completely spiritual. It has nothing to do with material contamination. Therefore, no one can enter into the pastimes by artificial material means. That is the instruction of the Nayam Sukapo verse, and it must be strictly understood. So sometimes sahajas dress up in saris or imagine themselves to be gopis, but that is gross imitation, and it's not successful. Purve bhateramane ek chila abhiman shri narayana hoyans shrayam bhagavan Before this explanation given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Venkata Bhatta thought that Sri Narayan was the Supreme Personality of God. Tahara bhajanas sarvopari kakahoi shri vaishnavir Bhajan e sarvopari hoi. Thinking in this way, Venkatabhata believed the worship, the worship of Narayan was the supreme form of worship, superior to all other processes of devotional service, for it was followed by the Sri Vaishnava disciples of Ramanuja Acharya. Etara Garva Prabhu Korite Kandan. Parihasa Dware Utai Eteka Vachan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had understood this misconception of Venkatabhatas, and to correct it, the Lord talked so much in a joking way. So, the point of Mahaprabhu's joking is that, is that um, contrary to the thinking of the thinking of the uh, Sri Sampradaya, uh, Mahaprabhu is showing that Krishna is the original personality of God and, and Narayana is his expansion, not the other way around. Etara Garba Prabhu Kurite Kandan Parihasa Dware Utai Ete Kavachan 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had understood this misconception of Venkatabhatas and to correct it, the Lord talked so much in a joking way. Prabhu kohe bhatta tumi na koriya samshai Swayam Bhagavan Krishna eta nishai The Lord then continued, My dear Venkatabhata, Please do not continue doubting. Lord Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and this is the conclusion of the Vedic literature. Krishna Rabhilasa Murti Sri Narayan Ateva Lakmi Adhyara Kore Tehoman. Lord Narayan, the opulent form of Krishna, attracts the minds <coughs> of the goddess of fortune and her followers. Lord Narayan, the opulent form of Krishna, attracts the minds of the goddess of fortune and her followers. And her followers. Ete chamsa kala pumsa krishna stu bhagavan svayam indrari vyakulam lokam mridiyanti yuge yuge. All these incarnations of Godhead are either plenary portions or parts of the plenary portions of the Purusha avatars. But Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God himself. In every age, he protects the world through his different features when the world is disturbed by the enemies of Krishna. This is a verse quoted by the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, or those who worship Krishna as the Supreme Lord. All these incarnations of Godhead are either plenary portions or parts of the plenary portions of the Purusha avatars. But Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself. That's the only Narayana Hoite Krishna Asadharangana Guna. Narayana hoite Krishna asad darana guna. Ateva latmir Krishna Krishna anukan. Because Krishna has four extraordinary qualities not possessed by Lord Narayan, the goddess of fortune Lakshmi always desires his company. So Krishna has four unique qualities that Narayan doesn't have. Lord Narayan has 64, Lord Narayan, pardon me, Lord Narayan has 60 transcendental qualities. Over and above these, Krishna has four extraordinary transcendental qualities absent in Lord Narayan. These four qualities are, one, his worshipable pastimes, his worshipful pastimes, or his wonderful pastimes, which are compared to an ocean. Two, so wonderful pastimes are the unique pastimes of Krishna. His association in the circle of the supreme devotees in conjugal love, the gopis, his dance. Three, his playing on the flute, whose vibration attracts the three worlds, and four, his extraordinary beauty, which surpasses the beauty of the three worlds. Lord Krishna's beauty is unequaled and unsurpassed. Tumi J Padila Shloka Se Hoi Praman Se Shloke Aishe Krishna Swayam Bhagavan. You have recited the Shloka beginning with Siddhanta Stabade P. That very verse is evidence that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. Siddhanta Tastva Bede B. Shrisha Krishna Svarupaya O. Rasenot Krishyate Krishna Rupam Esha Rasastitihi. According to transcendental realization, there is no difference between the forms of Krishna and Narayan. Yet in Krishna, there is a special transcendental attraction due to the conjugal mellow. And consequently, he surpasses Narayan. 
This is the conclusion of transcendental mellows. So, although there's no difference between Krishna and Narayan, Krishna, with Krishna there is the transcendental mellow of conjugal love or madhura ras. And for this reason, he surpasses Narayan. In the Vaikuntha planets, there is not this Madhurya Ras that is shown between Krishna and the gopis in Vrindavan. This is the conclusion of transcendental mellows. According to transcendental realization, there is no difference between the forms of Krishna and Narayan. Yet in Krishna, there is a special transcendental attraction due to the conjugal mellow and consequently surpasses Narayan. This is the conclusion of transcendental mellows. This is a verse from the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Here Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj says that Lord Chaitanya spoke the verse to Venkatabhata and earlier he said that Venkatabhata spoke it to the Lord. But since their conversation took place long, long before the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu was composed, the question may be raised as to how Either of them quoted the verse. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur explains that this verse and many others like it were current among devotees long before the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu was composed. Thus devotees would always quote them and explain their purport in ecstasy. So Bhakti Rasamrita was compiled later, but it included those verses that were already in existence among the gopis, um, not among the gopis, among the devotees, not among, these verses were known to the devotees and, and they're put into, um, put into the Bhakti Rasam Rita Sindhu. Okay. So I am Bhagavan Krishna, Hari Lakmirman, Gopikara, Mana Harite Nare, Narayan. The Supreme Personality of God at Krishna attracts the mind of the Goddess of Fortune, but Lord Narayan cannot attract the minds of the gopis. This proves the super excellence of Krishna. Narayanera Kakata Shri Krishna Apane Gopikare Hasya Karaite Hoy Narayane to say nothing of Lord Narayan personally, Lord Krishna himself appeared as Narayan just to play a joke on the gopis. Chatur Bhuja. No, the gopis, 149. Okay. Chatur Bhuja, Murti Dehai, Gopi Ganer, Age, Se Krishna, Gopi Kara, Nahe Anurage. Although Krishna assumed the forearm form of Narayan, he could not attract the serious attention of the gopis in ecstatic love. Gopinam Vasupendra Nandana Jusho Bhavashyakas Tamkriti Vidyatum Kamate Duruha Paravi Sancharina Prakriyam Avish Kurvati Vaishnavim Api Tanum Tasmin Bujar Jishnubir Yasam Hanta Chaturbir Adbuta Ruchim Ragodaya Kunchati. Once Lord Sri Krishna playfully manifested himself as Narayan with form victorious hands and a very beautiful form. When the gopis saw this exalted form, however, their ecstatic feelings were crippled. A learned scholar, therefore, cannot, cannot understand the gopis' ecstatic feelings, which are firmly fixed upon the original form of Lord Krishna as the son of Nanda Maharaj. The wonderful feelings of the gopis in ecstatic paramarasa with Krishna constitute the greatest mystery in spiritual life. This verse is spoken by Narad Muni in the Lalita Madhava Natak, a drama written by Srila Rupa Goswami. So one time the gopis were looking for Krishna. 
Krishna was hiding and they came upon him, but he didn't, he wanted to continue hiding, so he assumed the form of, of Vishnu. And the gopis saw from a distance, oh, there's Krishna, but when they got closer, they saw that Krishna now manifested himself with four arms and they said, oh, they offered prayers. Oh, Lord Narayan, we pray to you. Have you seen Krishna? Etakahe Prabhutara Garva Churna Koriya Tares Shuka Dite Kohe Siddhanta Viraya. They didn't have the same feelings of love that for Narayan. When Krishna showed himself as Narayan, they didn't feel that that same overwhelming love that they felt for Krishna. In this way, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu deflated the pride of Venkatabhada, but just to make him happy again, he spoke as follows. Dukana bhavihabhata koilun varihas shastra siddhanta shuna jate vaishnava vishvas the Lord pacified Venkatabhada by saying, Actually, whatever I have said is by way of jest. Now you can hear from me the conclusion of the Shastras in which every Vaishnava devotee has firm faith. Krishna Narayana Jaiche Ekayi Swarub Gopi Lat Latmi Beda Nahi Hoi E Group. There is no difference between Lord Krishna and Lord Narayan, for they are of the same form. Similarly, there is no difference between the gopis and the goddess of fortune, for they also are of the same form. So the actually the Lakshmis in the heavenly planets, they're expansions of the gopis, just like Lord Narayan, it is an expansion of Krishna. Gopi Dware Lakmi Kore Krishna Sangha Swada Ishwar Radve Beda Mani Le Hoi Aparada. Goddess of Fortune enjoys association of Krishna through the gopis. One should not differentiate between the forms of the Lord for such a conception is offensive. Eka Eka Ishwara Bhaktir Jana Anurub Eka Vigrahe Kore Nanakara Rub. There is no difference between the transcendental forms of the Lord. Different forms are manifested due to different attachments of different devotees. Actually, the Lord is one, but he appears in different forms just to satisfy his devotees. Manir Jatta Vivagena Nila Pitadi Bir Yuta Rupa Bedam Avapnoti Jnana Bedat Tatachutaha. When the jewel known as Vaidorya touches various other materials, it appears to be separated into different colors, and consequently its forms also appear different. Similarly, according to the meditational ecstasy of the, of the devotee, the Lord, who is known as Achuta, an infallible one, appears in different forms, although he is essentially one. Bhatta kohe kahanami jiva pamar kahantumi se krishna sakat ishwar. Venkatabhata then said, I am an ordinary fallen living entity, but you are Krishna, the supreme personality of God in himself. Agata ishwara lila kichwino na jani tumi je kaha se satya korimani. The transcendental pastimes of the Lord are unfathomable 
and I do not know anything about them. Whatever you say, I accept as the truth. More Purna Kripa Koila Lakminarayan Tara Kripai Painu Tomar Charana Darshan. I've been engaged in the service of Lakshmi Narayan, and it is due to their mercy that I've been able to see your lotus feet. Kripa Kore Kohile More Krishnera Mahima Jara Rupa Gunaishvarier Keho Napai Sima. Out of your causes, mercy, you have told me of the glories of Lord Krishna. No one can reach the end of the opulence, qualities, and forms of the Lord. Ebe Sevi Janinu Krishna Bhakti Sarvopari Kritarta Korele More Kohile Kripa Kori. I can now understand that devotional service unto Lord Krishna is the supreme form of worship out of your causeless mercy. You have made my life successful simply by explaining the facts. Eta boli bata padila prabhu charane kripa kore prabhu tare koila alingane. After saying this, Venkata bata fell down before the lotus feet of the Lord, and the Lord, out of his causeless mercy, embraced him. Chaturmasya purna hoila bata agyaloya dakin dakina cha. Chalila Prabhu Sri Rangadekiya. When the period of Chaturmasha was completed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took permission to leave from Venkatabhata and after visiting Sri Ranga, he proceeded further towards southern India. Sangete Chalila Bhata Najai Babane Tare Vidai Dila Prabhu Anika Jatane. Venkatabhata did not want to return home, but also wanted to go with the Lord. It was with great endeavor that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bade him farewell. Prabhura Viyoge Bhatta Hoila Achetan Eranga Lila Kori Sachira Nandan. When he did so, Venkatabhata fell down unconscious. Such are the pastimes of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the son of Mother Sachi at Sri Ranga Shetra. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. Hare Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Janavaya Maravaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinatha Marana Mohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Gananara Sri Vasari Gora Bhakta Vena Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhatta Raghunath Shri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Ekshai Gosai Kori Chanana Bhandan Jaoite Vignana Shabi Stapuran Jaoite 
Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvi Giridhari Joki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Shila Bhakti Tilat Niriya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Shila Bhakti Nirmala Charya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Paramansa Paravajaka Chari Ashta Tata Sadashi Shimad Shila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Paramansa Paravajaka Chari Ashta Tata Sadashi Shimad 
Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sudanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Gaur Ki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarva Bama Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupanuga Guru Bharga Ki Jai Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunashi Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunashi Goswami Prabhu Kijai Premsi Goshi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasudev Shri Gora Bhakta Vrinda Kijai Vishwa Parinya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Kijai Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Kijai Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Kijai Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai. Um, jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Kushamashram Maharaj Ki Jai. Uh, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan Sham Kuna Radha Kunda Kalamindi Amuna Ju Ki Jai. Uh, Shri Purushottam Vidam Ki Jai. Baladeva Subhadra Jalina Ju Ki Jai. Bhakti Vignavi Nashaya. Shri Nishinga Dev Ki Jai, Bhakta Prabhada Shri Prahlad Maharaj Ki Jai, Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai. Gaur Pramanande Hari Haribo.